Hey everyone, Sarah here from sarahsbites.com. Today I'm showing you how to make these cheese fritters that require no yeast. They come together so quickly and they're almost kind of like little cheesy bread. So they are very fast to make and easy. Let's get started with the recipe. In a large mixing bowl, we're going to add two and a half cups of all purpose flour. With that, we'll add in four eggs. They do not have to be room temperature. One teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of baking powder, and you're just gonna stir all of this together. And then for our liquid, we're gonna add in one and a quarter cups of plain kefir. You can also use just plain yogurt or even plain Greek yogurt, but then those do tend to be a little bit thicker, so you would have to add either a little bit of water or even milk just to make sure that all your flour is mixed in together. That is why I stick to kefir. And then last but not least, I added in a whole eight ounce block of extra sharp cheddar cheese. You can really go with any cheese that you like here, but I do think because they are, these are cheese fritters, you want to add some sort of cheese that has a lot of tang to it. In a deep pan or even a pot, you can heat up some oil. I used only about two cups of vegetable oil and you're gonna heat it up to about 350 degrees. You can use a thermometer to check that or just drop a piece of that dough inside and you'll see if it starts to fry, your oil is good to go. It took me a couple of batches to fry all of my cheese fritters, so you're just gonna use a spoon, make them as big or as small as you like. And one way to prevent the dough from sticking to the spoon is by dipping the spoon into that oil first and then scooping the dough out. So like I said, just use whatever you want. I just like to use a tablespoon and then um, you're going to fry them for about two minutes on each side or until they are golden brown. And then you're going to flip them over for another couple of minutes. When they are done, I like to put them out on some paper towel just to help absorb some of that frying oil that we used. And like I said, experiment with different cheeses. They are really good with Gouda cheese as well. Um, you can eat these as a snack or with dinner, really. They're just sort of like little cheesy breads. They are so good. My mom made these when I was growing up all the time, but she made them with no cheese and we call them ushtipke. So she that did them a little bit differently and they required yeast, but I think this is just such an easy way to make little bitty cheese fritters and you don't have to wait for them to rise or anything. I do hope you love this recipe. Let me know in the comments below if you are as big of a cheese fan as I am. I can pretty much eat cheese with everything or on anything. I love cheese. Um, consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up below and I will see you guys next week with another recipe. Bye.